Keyshorns.com, Pro Tools 9 and 10, free class tutorials, beginning, intermediate, and advanced, Master Fader. Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Uh, this video is covering the Master Fader. Alright, go ahead and pull up a Master Fader on your uh, Pro Tools. I got mine pulled up right here. And let's talk about the Master Fader. Master Fader is basically going to be this volume of your whole track. Okay, so what is it has inserts, so you can go ahead and uh, you can put EQ on it, you can put a compressor, uh, any of the, all the same effects. You can do that at the end also, and that will affect everything coming into that master um, track, which is all of your tracks. Okay, it doesn't have any scenes because you're not going to be able to send it nowhere. Okay, it's the final. This is like your mix. A lot of people like to, re to record from just the master. Okay, uh, this is how you can do your mixing. And then you'll bring it all the way back to the master. Your auxiliaries, everything will come and it will be your master. Some people like to, to make more than one master. Uh, the reason why you would do this, let's say you had uh, the rhythm section. And you want the rhythm section to have its own separate mix than, say, the vocals or, or chords, whatever, something like that. So you could have a different master uh, tracks. So you can have a master track that just covers half of your mix. So you can have three different master tracks that covers uh, three different portions of your mix. And we'll talk about that, how to set that up, and a little bit more about the master track in, um, in our intermediate. Uh, but go ahead and we'll, let's look what, right here. Like I said, there's no sins. Um, there's no uh, left and right pan. Okay. Because basically everything is going to already be sent to to the master. So if you got something that's sent to the left, to the left is already going to be done as far as in the master. So this is your volume. You want to set your volume up. And you still have your name and your comments. So this is basically what a master track is. You want to set one up every time you have a session because you can uh, deal with the whole sound with this fader right here through all your tracks. And that's basically it for the master fader. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials, beginning, intermediate, or advanced, please go to dshorns.com. If you need a horn section on your track, horn solos, piano chords, piano solos, or help mastering your track, contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com. And please make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.